Hello, my name is Pooja. Welcome to the Sunday special episode of Around the World. We come up with this program every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. In this special program, we talk about the news which enhances your understanding of global politics. We will discuss one such news in today's story. How powerful a country is in the current global politics can be gauged from the position and role of that country in global organizations and groups. A country's power can also be gauged from its dominance on geopolitical forums. India has made a strong hold on various global forums. Now, India has also started using global forums for mutual cooperation as well as for the fulfillment of political and strategic interests. For this purpose, India is trying to present itself as an important player on these forums through different initiatives and policies. Earlier, India did not use to participate in various global forums, but now India is not only participating in all the global forums, but is also trying to strengthen its participation in them. For instance, after securing the presidency of the G20 in the organization of the world's largest economies for the year 2023, it has now also acquired the chairmanship of the newly formed organization GPAI, that is, Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence. India took charge of this organization on 21st November 2022 during the GPAI summit held in Tokyo. Tokyo is the first Asian city to host the GPAI summit. Four topics, namely responsible artificial intelligence, data governance, future of work and innovation and commercialization were discussed during the summit. India secured more than two-thirds of the first preferences in the polls of the next chairmanship of the GPAI Council. It was followed by Canada and the US respectively. Earlier, France was the chairman of the GPAI Council. Against this backdrop, several pertinent questions arise. Firstly, what is the Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence and what is its significance in global politics? Secondly, what is the role of India in GPAI? Thirdly, how is India going to benefit from GPAI? Fourthly, how will it help India in serving its geopolitical interests? We will try to find answers to these questions in today's episode. Let us, first of all, know about GPAI and its importance. GPAI is an international and multi-stakeholder initiative that aims to advance the responsible and human-centered development and use of artificial intelligence. Basically, GPAI seeks to bridge the gap between theory and ground reality through applied projects and activities. For this purpose, it brings together leading experts from science, industry, civil and government. The idea of GPAI was introduced on the platform of G7 organized in 2018. The idea of GPAI was jointly introduced by Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and French President Emmanuel Macron. However, GPAI was officially launched on 15th June 2020 with 15 founding members. Its inaugural edition was hosted by Canada in Montreal in December 2020, while the next GPAI conference was hosted by France in Paris in 2021. GPAI's founding members include the G7 members, namely the United Kingdom, United States of America, Canada, France, Germany, Italy and Japan, as well as Australia, India, Mexico, New Zealand and Republic of Korea, Singapore, Slovenia and the European Union. Later on the Czech Republic, Israel and some more countries also joined GPAI and as a result, the total number of GPAI members reached 25. The OECD, that is Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, hosts a secretariat dedicated to the GPAI. Later on, UNESCO also acquired observer status in GPAI in December 2020. The presence of all these countries and organizations in GPAI shows the global importance of this group. All member countries of the G7, which is the group of most developed countries in the world, are also members of the GPAI. The presence of these rich and technologically advanced countries highlight the global importance of GPAI. At this juncture, a pertinent question arises. When so many powerful countries are members of the GPAI, then what is India's role in this organization? And how will it help India in pursuing its geopolitical interests? India's role in the GPAI can be gauged from the fact that India has taken over the chairmanship of GPAI Council 
by defeating Canada and the US by two-thirds of the votes. It is a well-known fact that India is one of the fastest emerging economies in the world. India is at par with developed countries in space and technology and defense technology. Considering these multifaceted developed conditions of India, GPAI countries have handed over the chairmanship of GPAI to India. Apart from India, many developing countries are also members of GPAI. India can share close relations with these countries under its leadership and can make these countries aware of the credibility of its technology through its leadership skills. Hence, the GPAI will open doors to numerous opportunities for India. These developed countries also understand the importance of developing countries in the current era. Hence, the developed countries always want to make fast emerging developing countries members of the GPAI for tapping the talent of developing countries as the potential of talent in developed countries is now less than in developing countries. Hence, major developing countries are made members of the GPAI as the developed countries intend to take advantage of the talent present in these countries. As far as India's role is concerned, its importance lies in the undeniable truth that no global issue can be seriously tackled without India's participation because India's position in the global system has now become extremely cardinal in recent times. India is also well apprised of its growing importance in the world. Therefore, India also intends to use the situation to serve its own interests. India also uses such platforms to explore its talents where the possibilities are more. Currently, artificial intelligence technology is making the global landscape more elaborate and strong. It is pushing the limits of human possibilities. Artificial intelligence is expected to add over 900 billion US dollars to the Indian economy by 2035 and 450 to 500 billion dollars to India's GDP by 2025, which is 10% of India's GDP target of 5 trillion US dollars. Artificial intelligence is a kinetic enabler for the growth of India's technology ecosystem and a key factor in achieving the target of 1 trillion dollar digital economy by 2025. Now it will be interesting to see whether India succeeds in using this platform to achieve its goals or not. Now it is time for the Sunday special issue of this program in which we talk about other important international news. According to the news agency Al Jazeera, a gunman belonging to the terrorist group Al Shabaab entered a military base in Somalia last week. There he shot and killed three Kenyan peacekeepers. Al Shabaab took responsibility for carrying out the attack. This group opposes the presence of foreigners in the countries of the Horn of Africa. The countries of the Horn of Africa have been victims of ethnic and armed conflicts for decades. That's why the United Nations has deployed peacekeepers here. Somalia is part of the Horn of Africa. The Horn of Africa includes Somalia, Ethiopia, Djibouti and Eritrea. It is also known as the Somali Peninsula. While the entire Western Bloc has united against Russia regarding the recent Russia-Ukraine war, some parts of the developing world are yet to take a clear stand on it. Some even see Russia as a force capable of challenging the West and its hegemony. Meanwhile, a campaign was being done on social media in support of Russia and Indonesia. After investigation, it was found that the people running it are the people of Russian minority group present in Indonesia. However, many Indonesian groups also support the Russian campaign. The Vice President of the United States of America, Kamala Harris, reached the Philippines on a three-day visit. There she also visited Palawan Island, situated on the disputed sea. Here, she responded to China's assertive policies towards the South China Sea and Taiwan. At the same time, she also said that the US will always stand by the Philippines in the matter of intimidation and coercion by China in the South China Sea. The Philippines is an island country located in the Indo-Pacific. Its capital is Manila. This country, located in the Western Pacific Ocean, is a part of the ASEAN group. The Philippine Islands are bounded by the Philippine Ocean to the east, South China Sea to the west, and the Celebes Sea to the south. That's all in this episode. Let us note down the question based on today's episode. How the Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence will aid India in serving its geopolitical interests, evaluate. 